Neves Knives, I'm Jared and today's video is about the new skull I have from Skull Bliss. Now they did provide the skull and they asked me to review it. They asked me to pick one out from their site. They have over 75 different skulls on their site with so many different designs and so many different finishes. There, It's amazing how many different skulls and designs they have on their site. Now their skulls are ethically sourced. No animals are harmed in the process of them making their skulls, which I love that. I think that's amazing that it's all ethical. And they have everything on their site, which I'm going to link down in the description. So they have all their processes. They're very open to everything and how they do it. And I think that's amazing. Um, their artisans are incredible. After me getting my skull, I can tell you the artwork is so good. So good. They, they are definitely craftsmen. They are incredible at their work. Now, while picking out the skull that I chose, I'll say this, man, there's so many different skulls. You could basically have a skull for just about any type of room. Whatever the vibe is for any room, there's a skull that would fit that vibe, which I really love, but it made it a little difficult for me to choose which one I wanted because there's so many that I do want. Um, I really wanted the Ram skull. I love the look of the Ram skull and it goes good on a shelf, or, you know, and they do have different ways that they can hang or go on a shelf. They have uh, poles that they can go on. There's different ways that, that you can um, have them in your room. Now, I really wanted the ram one, but there was, I really wanted the, 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 uh, the buffalo too. And in the end, I wound up picking the buffalo skull with the skulls carved into it. I thought that was really cool, a really cool design, and I wanted a specific finish. I wanted the, like somewhat of an antiqued finish, so it looked very natural. I wanted a real natural looking skull with the, the black horns, and I wanted the skulls carved on the black horns, and I found that exact design, and it looks incredible. Now, the horns do come separated, so you do have to just slip them on. It's really easy, no problem at all. It helps with shipping and also with installation and things. Now, you can also, they have the mounting systems and all that, so very easy to, to mount. You do have to get your own hardware and screws to, to put on your wall if that's the, the way you're, you're going to hang it. And we'll talk about that here in a minute. But... It came um, after opening it up and looking at the skull and seeing the craftsmanship of the artwork that they put on there. I was just blown away. It is very, very, very well done. And the the weight of it, it's not super heavy. So, you know, it's a skull. So obviously there's some weight to it. But it's not something that's overly heavy that's, uh, that you're going to be afraid to hang on your wall. So I was very happy that it wasn't too heavy and I, I'm, I feel very safe with it on the wall, put it that way. But it still has some heft to it, um, which I like. Obviously, it's a skull and a big skull at that. The buffalo skull is not small. It's a big skull. Nice big horns, and it's something that really captures your attention when you see the you know when you see it. So when you walk into the room and you see one of these skulls, regardless of the skull, it's going to be the one thing that captures your attention above everything else in the room, guaranteed. Um, <laughs> I can guarantee that. No matter what else you have in the room, if you have one of these skulls, anybody who walks in that room is going to first firstly see that. So. Um, Installing it, I wound up getting these mounts right here, which this mounting system is just the hardware and screws. Now this one holds up to 80 pounds and that's plenty of weight for it to hold because it is nowhere near 80 pounds. So I figured this would be just fine and I knew because I already knew exactly where I wanted to put it. Since I knew where I wanted to put it, I knew there wasn't going to be a stud there. So, you know, I got these mollies and everything worked out just fine. It was easy for me to install. Um, the mount that came with it, it just slips right over the screw and hangs from the wall. Now, um, after putting it on the wall and really seeing how it looks in the room, I am overwhelmingly happy with the, this whole process. I know I, I'm the one who made out in this deal, and I do think Skull Bliss. This is something that I am going to have forever. You know, it's a skull, so it's going to last forever, and it will always be the, 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 the ultimate piece of the room. Now, the way the, the skull actually hangs on the mount, it has a wire 
on the back of it that's drilled in. There's a, a hole drilled in two sides of the skull and the wire goes through the skull and wraps around. So it's actually tied directly into the bone of the skull. So you're not going to have to worry about it breaking or pulling out or anything like that. So um, I do like that that is hung in that way so that I, I've, I'm very secure with how it's going to hang. Now, I do have a couple little nitpicks though. Um, one I'm not sure if it was because of the box, because it does come in a wooden box. It's wrapped in bubble wrap, and, you know, that that's great. But I don't know if the box, the top of the box came loose because of the way it was stapled into the wood, or if they opened it during transport. They might have done that. I have a feeling they did that, because when I got it, the top of the box was was completely off. Like, it was on top, but it wasn't screwed, it wasn't nailed in in any way. It was removed. I don't know, but I have a feeling that it fell out. I have a feeling they opened it up and processed it, you know, through the, the shipping process. And then one of the shipping people picked it up and it fell out because the, the mount that goes on the wall had a couple dings in it. Not a big deal. The skull was fine. The horns were fine. I mean, it's a skull and horns, right? And it's wrapped in bubble wrap. That was perfectly fine. No scratches, no nothing with that. But the cordage around the horn was starting to come off. Not a big deal. That's a total nitpick. I can easily glue it back on or just leave it the way it is. But there was some dings in the um, in the mount. Now you can't see it because when I hang the skull, the skull's gonna cover it. But it's just something I noticed that the, the lid was not on, it was removed, and it seemed as if the skull possibly fell out. But I can't, you know, I can't verify that actually happened. I only know that the the, the top was removed. Now it did come in basically perfect condition though, so I'm not complaining at all. Everything was fine. I got it, and and I'm overwhelmingly happy with it. I do notice that the teeth on in the skull are a little loose, but I don't I think that that's just through the processes of you know them doing the finishing work and you know possibly the aging and things like that. I can't pull any of the teeth out, but I can, I can shake them a little bit. They're a little loose, just a couple of them. Is that a big deal? No, you won't even ever notice it unless if you have it, the, the, the skull taken off of the wall and you start messing with it. So it's not a big deal at all. And that's probably just something that happens throughout time and, you know, the skull aging and things and like I said it's not like they'll pull out or anything but I do love the look of the teeth you know and the eyes and, and you know the the nose of the buffalo you know coming down I love the look of the the skulls carved into the horns and the forehead of the buffalo you know with the skulls carved in there it has such a beautiful look to it um it's just like I said it's a piece that just stands out above all in any room and I'm so happy with the finish that I chose, you know, that, that almost aged looking bone look. It has somewhat of a yellowing look to it, a browning, yellowing look to the bone, um, a, a semi-gloss. Not, not much, just semi. So it has a, a, a real antique look to it that I just love. I love it. And the horns, like I said, they are removable. So they are hollow for the first um, quarter of the length of the horn, not the whole length of the horn, but about the quarter of the length of the horn, they are hollow. So that, you know, easily just slips right over the, the beginning of the horns, basically. So that's really cool. Like I said, it's very easy to, to transport if you need to, or to take off and put back onto a different place, or if you, if you wanted to move it to a different room or something, it's something that's very easily done. So, the one complaint, if I was going to actually complain about the product itself, I wish the mounting system had two screws instead of one. So the mount has one screw. And it seems like the metal is a little thin. I wish it was a little thicker. Now, I'm sure they've tested it. I'm sure it's fine. So is it a big deal? No. But if it had two screws, I think it would be on the wall a little bit more securely to my liking. But... 
I'm still very happy with it. So I don't want to make it seem like I think there's anything wrong with it or that it's going to fall or anything like that. It would just be nicer if it had two screw mounts on the back of it instead of one. But all in all, I am overwhelmingly happy with this. I, I can't tell you guys enough about just how much this thing makes me smile. Uh, you know, just having it in the back of my studio and it just being a, a, like a real eye-catching piece. The artwork is amazing. The craftsman's that that did the artwork or the artisans i should say that did the work on this you know they are incredible man they do they do such good work and you can tell it took them a long time to do this so shout out to them and all their hard work um and also like i said everything will be linked down in the description so if you do want to check out more of the processes and how they do this and just the the whole thing to to what they're doing from skull bliss i will link it down in the description thank you guys for watching peace